Hello boys and girls, welcome back to Miss Orm's story time. Today we have got a book all about spiders and this book is called Spinderella. The children of Scuttleton Primary School were eating their dinner, fish fingers, potato and peas. High up above them, the spiders of Scuttleton Primary School were eating their dinner, flies, flies and flies. How many flies have we got today, Mum? asked Spinderella, the smallest spider. Lots, said Mum. Loads, said her brothers and sisters. That's not a number, complained Spinderella. Never mind about numbers. Eat up your flies, said Mum. After dinner, the children went out to play football. The spiders swung down to watch. What a tackle, they cried, and yippee! The children scored goal after goal. How many goals is that, Mum? asked Spinderella. Lots, said Mum. Loads, said her brothers and sisters. <sighs> Cinderella sighed. What a family. How will I ever learn about numbers? When the children had gone home, Spinderella said, Why don't we play football? Don't be silly said her biggest brother, Speedy. We haven't got a ball, said her second biggest brother, Scrabble. I can see a pea on the floor, said Spinderella. We can use that. Mum chose Speedy and Scrabble as the captains of each team. Nearly all the spiders decided to join Speedy's team because he was the fastest runner. Speedy's team scored all the goals. It's not fair, the spiders on Scrabble's team shouted. Yes, it is. You're just jealous, shouted the spiders on Speedy's team. To make things worse, the spiders hurt their legs kicking the pea. Before long, they were all quarrelling, moaning and kicking each other instead of the pea. Mum had to blow her whistle. How many spiders should we have on each team, Mum? asked Spinderella. Uh, lots, said Mum. Loads, said her brothers and sisters. I think both teams should have the same number, said Spinderella. But her brothers and sisters all turned on her. Down with numbers, they yelled. Next morning, Spinderella woke early. She felt sad. I wish I could learn about numbers, she sighed. And so you shall came a loud voice. Spinderella spun round and saw an enormous hairy spider. Who are you? asked Spinderella. I'm your hairy godmother, said the enormous spider. Follow me. Spinderella scuttled after her, out of the dinner hall, along the corridor, into a classroom. And up to the ceiling. Spinderella looked down and saw a teacher come into the classroom with a pile of football bibs. Keep your eyes and ears open, said the hairy godmother, and in a flash, she was gone. Now, I want you to count yourselves, said the teacher. There should be 20 of you. Let's check. And then came the most wonderful sound. The children took turns to count out a number from one to 20. Spinderella swung joyfully backwards and forwards in time to the counting. See if you can count along with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19, 20. Well done, boys and girls. The teacher gave out the football bibs. Put them on and find the others with the same colour, he said. Soon there were two groups of children. How many on each team? asked the teacher. The children counted again. 10 reds, said the girl in red. 10 blues, said the boy in blue. The same number, shouted Spinderella. She was so excited that she let go of her thread. 
Look, a spider, squash it, screamed someone. Spinderella froze in terror. Let's put it out of the window, said the teacher, and he did. Suddenly, Spinderella was outside. I'm lost, she wailed. I'll never see my mum again. But then she turned round and spotted two football girls. I know where I am now, she said. She scuttled round the outside of the school, in through the open window of the dinner hall. And up to the web. Hello, Mum. I can count up to twenty, she said. Never mind about that. Eat up your flies, said Mum. I'm going to count them first, said Spinderella. And she did. I've got fourteen flies, she told her brothers and sisters. So what, they said. Down with numbers. Up with flies and football. That night, the spiders decided to play football again. Mum, said Spinderella, I've been counting. There are ten of us, so we need five spiders on each side. Some of the spiders muttered, down with numbers, but Mum shut them up. Spinderella sorted them into two teams of five. She was in Scrabble's team and she also helped Mum to keep the score. This time, no one quarrelled or kicked each other, and at half-time, each team had scored three goals. But still, the spiders kept hurting their spindly legs, kicking the pig. I wish we had some football boots. And so you shall, came a voice. It was the hairy godmother again. How many boots do you each need, she asked. Lots, said Mum. Loads, said Spinderella's brothers and sisters. That's not good enough, said the hairy godmother. I need to have a number. Do you know how many legs that spiders have? Shall we have a look and see if we can count them? Let's have a go. Count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's right, they have eight legs. Eight, shouted Spinderella. We've each got eight legs, so we need eight boots. Done, said the hairy godmother. There was a flash, and then on the floor were ten piles of boots. Each pile had eight boots in it. The spiders put them on and laced them up. Then they had a wonderful sec second half. They scored goal after goal. The hairy godmother clapped and clapped. With only a minute left to go, each team had scored eight goals. It's going to be a draw, muttered Spinderella. But just then, the ball came her way and she gave it an almighty kick. Spinderella had scored the winning goal. All the spiders ran up to her and all together they cheered, up with Spinderella. Up with numbers. And that is the end of our story. I hope you enjoyed it, boys and girls. I hope you counted along with me. I wonder if you can find some things at home that you can count. See if you can count your fingers. See if you can count how many legs you have. Or anything else that you can find at home to count. Okay, that's all for now. See you next time. Bye.